So to all the slaves out there, you want it? You want a kick in the teeth every minute on the minute? You're going to get it. The road to serfdom is for you. I think I need to stop right now. See, I get a little down sometimes about everything, like I was yesterday. And then I just kind of rebound with a sarcasticness like I'm doing right now. I bet all you FBI guys and Secret Service guys and military people, I bet you think you're going to be real safe in this system where everybody gets backstabbed. Actually, the military and police people are waking up because they realize this is going to a really bad place. I wonder what's happening to the general public, though. Do they have any idea that it's admitted that Obama uh, ordered the attack on uh, anybody who was pro-freedom with the IRS that's totally beyond Richard Nixon times a thousand? And that now they claim all the emails have been erased now that Congress is forcing the subpoena. IRS loses emails from six more involved in targeting in different email systems. And, of course, the uh, head of the environmental grab, she got caught in subpoenas lying about emails and had fake emails. Isn't that just sweet? Isn't that just cute, ladies and gentlemen? Isn't that just special? And the dollar is plunging in value. Price of meat, chicken, fish soars to all-time high on dollar devaluation. And also, they've rigged uh, now by getting most of the food produced outside the country. 50 years ago, we could feed the whole world, literally. Now they've scammed the markets, the meat packing so much that they've set it up where you can't produce chicken, turkey, fish farm fish beef and and make a living in most cases it, it's not very profitable put it to you that way if you're an actual producer unless you're a big agribusiness they're given all the loopholes and tax exemptions and and all the taxpayer money the little guy doesn't get all that the corporate welfare and so as most of the ranchers shut down and the small chicken producers shut down is the i mean you're going to find out what it's like and i hope everybody enjoys it but on top of all of that, I mean, because, you know, we don't want that freeloader Bundy whose family's been on that land since 1877, 1878, uh, six generations, seven generations. Uh, they've run out all the other 30-something ranching families that came there on wagon trains. But don't worry, he's shutting, he'll shut down and then he, he'll show that lazy freeloader. And then, and then who can pay the taxes to all the BLM and their little army outfits who can't wait to have a war with the Tea Party? Mm -hmm. They're all so tough, you know. They're all big, 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 tough commandos. Uh, by the way, uh, there's a video up on Infowars.com, and DrudgeReport.com is linked to the story from yesterday. In the middle column, uh, churches uh, caught shipping illegals into the country. And, and, you know, I saw some of the trolls in the comments saying it wasn't true and stuff. And our story got picked up by hundreds of other publications. And I went and looked at some of those. And the talking point is, oh, these are just kids that got off buses and teenagers and their moms and babies. And so the churches wait at the border to be nice. No, we went and found the church's public statements, the Catholic churches, the evangelical churches, all Democratic Party front groups, 501c3, getting taxpayer money and getting Ford Foundation money in their own words <coughs> to stage the illegals coming in and the Border Patrol being told to stand down. And guess what the Border Patrol did? They came over and got in our reporters' faces yesterday. And so that's the big news. And our guys shot a report about it. So we've got them coming up in the third hour. They're going to have that video. Uh, Jakari mentions it in another report talking about Border Patrol powerless, and that's interesting, but, but the headline is Border Patrol tries to stop press from reporting on collapsed border, because that's what happened. I've talked to them. <sighs> but that's how nice my reporters are. Oh, really? We're being harassed by the Border Patrol? Literally down there showing the illegals being let in. Of course. The press is the enemy in something like this. And I'm not trying to get in a fight with the Border Patrol, but you've got a bunch of political people in the Border Patrol now. You know, the, the head of it and people are former Ford Foundation heads who've sworn to destroy this country. And so they're following orders to change diapers, heat up milk for the babies, get them on the buses, and get them deeper into the U.S., where they promptly become citizens. And Obama, I'm going to cover this after the break, is running around honoring illegal immigrant children this week. That's to encourage them up here. And then acting like, oh, we don't know why there's a flood. And now that the word's here that you get here, everything's free. I've got articles coming up. I'll show you photos in mainstream news of like women with babies hanging off of them.
totally dependent. I mean, the country is being sunk. I study military history, folks, but anybody could figure this out. When they turn off half the power plants in the country, as they're now doing, they've shut a third of them down, they're shutting down the other two-thirds of, of that 50% they swore to do. That's a military attack. It'll cost money for everything else you do, like meat that's exploding. When they ship your jobs overseas with incentives where it's impossible to have a factory here in the U.S. unless you're an insider, that's called deindustrialization, economic warfare. When you ship in tens of millions of illegals to get freebies and to vote to take the rights of the people, that's an economic takeover. This is a military takeover. They use al-Qaeda to take down Iraq or take down Libya or Syria. They use economic warfare on us. And people that understand it can thrive in this environment, but most people can't. Most people are caught flat-footed, and they're bringing us down right now. What comes next to get us behind the government? Nukes going off. Airplanes being shot down. Remember what Obama said after I warned? His main fear is a nuke going off in New York. I'm telling you, they'll do it. This hour of GCN programming is proudly sponsored by BlockItPocket.com. Enhancing your health and protecting your privacy and data. BlockItPocket.com. Use your phone safely and minimize radiation. Find out how at BlockItPocket.com. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Gentlemen, in search of a million dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud. The fluoride free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste. And safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com this is Leanne McAdoo for InfoWarsLife.com. I'm here with Dr. Edward Group, master herbologist and chief formulator behind the InfoWars Life products. Dr. Group, what have you been hearing from women who've started taking super female vitality? You know, we've heard the reviews and feedback from super male vitality from emails to even excited callers on the radio. Now, the answer for women is here. A new formulation specifically designed for the female body, super female vitality, delivers 10 key herbs that work synergistically to revitalize the unique biology of women. I'm so glad that you guys made this for women. When he brought me home the bottle of Super Female, I had tons of energy, tons of motivation, a lot of drive. My husband thinks I've been in a better mood. Our relationship, all I can say, is it's a lot better now. I've just started taking Super Female Vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. Supplies are limited, so secure yours today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or dial 1-888-253-3139. How long would you last if all grocery stores cease to exist? Not in America. This can't happen in America. Because of my concern about our government, I was looking at survival stuff. I was raised as a Girl Scout, and their motto was to be prepared. Food for Patriots was an opportunity for me to be able to put some things aside. I said, well, this is a product worth having, seeing as it's so good. Like the pricing for what I got. I like the containers they were shipped in. If they keep in touch with you, you get your emails, you get your confirmations. The customer service is just absolutely fantastic. Plan on buying probably about uh, four more of these minimum. And it just came so quick, it came right when they said it would come. Thanks for supplying all this stuff for us, because I think we're all going to be needing it in a very short time. Join over 50,000 Americans who have trusted food for patriots. Go to GetSurvivalFood.com to learn more. That's GetSurvivalFood.com. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Open the phones up about ISIS and the globalist uh, shadow army descending over the Middle East, engaging in extermination of Christians everywhere, which is the stated goal uh, of the so-called leftists that run our government, who aren't real leftists. I know plenty of hippies 
pl plenty of folks that are into organic food that are wonderful, great people. You know, they're buying milk from the Amish and care about freedom and own guns. There's like a hippie Texan type that is great people. But the globalists pose as trendy hippies and as, quote, you know, progressive loving people when they are nothing but a group of social engineering tyrants who are a totally parasitic group. Now, I want to get into all the articles that are up on Infowars.com and take your calls on ISIS and what's happening over there and the demonization of the Iraqi government on all the channels. Well, he's a bad guy. He didn't include people. So it's good to have an army out of Saudi Arabia that masked in uh, controlled areas of uh, Jordan and Syria come in and murder everybody. And Fareed Zarkaria was smiling. He's so evil looking smiling and giggling about it, getting off on the power, like Hillary going, I came, I saw, he died. Uh, I mean, if, I mean if, if some commando would have broken Gaddafi's neck, there's a military code with real killers that, that, that they don't brag about it. A, it's bad luck. B, it, 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 it's, it's unseemly. C, you don't want folks coming after you because you've killed people. D, when you're a tough guy and people know it, other tough guys want to fight you. I can keep going on the list of why no one in history gets up on TV or in newspapers or in print or on a speech that says, I killed Gaddafi. I, and it's some ugly, crone, evil woman who didn't do jack crap, who lied about herself being in an aircraft shot up uh, over Serbia. Remember that loadable? <coughs> they were sitting on flat jackets as they flew into the combat zone. I've got a cousin who's been in the military 31 years, but I asked him, he's been over 20 combat tours. He won't tell you anything. No stories, no nothing. Except about people burning up their own kids and stuff and why he hates, why he hates uh, Al-Qaeda type people so much. And then meanwhile, you got Hillary Clinton talking about how tough she is. I mean, this is a joke, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> so that's all coming up. Up on Infowars.com, established church groups aiding illegal immigrant invasion of U.S. Paul Watson, Alex Jones article, proving the article that's up on DrudgeReport.com, where we show the church admitting they're shipping them in. But, but this is in their own words in mainstream news the last three years, saying this was the plan. This is a concerted nationwide plan on record to totally take down the country. Paul Watson and I prove it in this key article, red linked on Infowars.com. Largest gas pipeline serving Europe, that's to make Europe buy globalist gas, blows up in Ukraine. World War III starting, folks. It's proxy wars. What's wrong with these two headlines? Cop punches woman in the stomach, crowd outraged. It's all coming up in the next hour. I'm going to get into all of it and take your phone calls. Toll free number to join us, 800 259 9231. Please don't forget, this is a listener-supported broadcast. So we bring you the ProPure Best G2 filters with a free stainless steel stand and 10% off of promo word water at InfoWarsStore.com. Each nightly news membership with my films and more at PrisonPlanet.tv is really 11 memberships to share with friends and family. Become a PrisonPlanet.tv member today. I want to thank those of you that are. Go to InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com and find the best nation iodine out there, the super male vitality, all of it. And I want to thank you all for funding the front lines of the InfoWar while getting incredible products. Thank you. For Tell your friends and family to, to tune in. Next hour, Visit coming up, we're on fire. Today. We're charging in. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888. 
253-2539. 